Hi, and welcome to Kicking It With Kelly. I'm your host, Kelly Bowler. Join me today for 30 minutes of total body exercise from my home that you can do in your home with no special gym equipment. The one thing you'll want for today's show is some sort of a low bench, footstool, something along those lines to do some of our exercises. But that's it, let's get started. jump into our warm-up and our workout, I want to give you a quick tip on one of the moves we're going to be doing today, and that's a squat. So for proper squat form, I want you to have your feet about hip width or a little bit wider apart, and I want you to think about sitting down and back, okay? So from the side, your form will be your hips move first, your butt goes down and back, okay? A lot of people are going to want to go this way first, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your knees and hurt those knees. So think about down and back, all right? Let me cue up the music and we'll get warmed up. All right, here we go. A quick little warm up to get our bodies ready for movement. I want you to get a nice wide stance. You're gonna take a deep bend in the knees and swing those arms around and up as we take a deep breath. Exhale when you go down, and inhale when you come up. And we'll do this a few times. So really just warming up the body, getting prepared for our workout. Down, and up. In and out with our breathing. Filling up those lungs, stretching out our arms. Getting our legs warmed up for our squats. Basically just ready in our body for exercise. A couple more. Great. Now we're going to do a side body stretch. So keeping your legs in the same position, we're going to go down and out to the side. So down and out to the other side. Stretching that side body, still getting our legs nice and warmed up. Deep breath. Should feel really good. Nice side body stretch. That top arm will be arching over, stretching along the side of our body. Good, sorry about that. <laughs> Down and up. Okay, a couple more. Bring your feet together, and we're just going to do a squat, and up, big stretch, back down, squat, deep breath, and up, stretching everything out, one more, deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, now that we're warmed up, we're going to do a whole bunch of squats, so get ready, and make sure we're using our proper form where our booties go down and out first, all right? So feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're just gonna start with a regular down and up. Ready? Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Good. I like to keep my hands here as kind of a counterbalance in front of me to my booty, which is going out behind me. If you wanna do sort of a down and up motion, you can, if you want to do it this way, see that a lot too, that's a good sort of counterbalance. I want you to think about getting as low as you can, using good form, and then at the top, I want you to stand up straight, but don't do a hard lock with those knees, don't push those knees out. 
Just nice and tall. Good. Great. Make sure you're breathing. Although from the side you can see my butt is going down and back. My knee is not traveling very far forward. That's what we want for proper form. I don't want you hurting those knees. Good. We'll do a few more. Okay, this next one at the bottom, I want you to hold it at your lowest position, and we're just gonna do tiny little pulses. So it's a very, very small motion. It's controlled, and I want you to think about squeezing with your glutes to lift you and then drop. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Ooh, I know this one burns a little bit. Stay down there. Good form. Find your lowest point. Try to get there. If you're not quite there, sink one more inch. Yes. Squeeze. Great. Couple more. One, two, three. Back to regular. Full range of motion. Down and up. Down and up. Great. Getting a little reprieve, a little rest at the top. Woo! Yes. Down and up. Good form. Stick out that booty. Two more, and then we're going to do the pulse again. One. Two. Hold it at your lowest point and pulse, pulse, pulse. If you're getting angry with me, that's totally natural. <laughs> when it's hard, take your anger out on me. But keep squatting, keep squeezing. Good. Let's do five more. One, up, down, up, that's two, down, up. Down, up, four, down, up, five, back to regular, full, range, good. All right, keep squatting. We're going to do one more song with squats. All right, so keep doing your regular. Woo, I got a little wobble in those knees. That's another thing. I don't want your knees to be bowing in. I don't want them to be bowing out. We want to keep everything going nice and forward. All right, we're going to change it up. We're gonna go a two count down and a two count up. So ready with me? Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Another good tip to engage the proper muscles is to think about your feet being on a sheet of newspaper and you're trying to tear that newspaper apart. So you're pushing out sort of on the blades of your feet. That'll engage your glute more. Okay, sorry, losing the rhythm. Up, two, down, two. And notice at the top, I'm not coming all the way out of that squat. That's gonna give our legs more work. Cause that's what we want, right? Two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Down, two. All right, regular. If you haven't noticed, the regular is kind of our little break. We're gonna keep working those legs, but it gets us out of those really intense phases, like our pulses and our slow squats. All right, this time, we're gonna go a three count down, and then a one count up. Okay, it looks like this at the top. We go, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, good, four, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, now reverse, start from the bottom, up for three, up, two, three, down, 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 up, two, three, down. I want you to get really low on these next two. 
with the second half of the workout. Welcome back for the second half of our workout. No bench needed this time. And for our leg portion, the first part of our workout, we're gonna start out on the floor. So clear out a little space on the floor. Let me cue up the music and we'll get started. All right, so for those of you maybe born in the 80s, worked out in the 80s, we're gonna do the old fashioned leg lift. So I want you on your side, your hips should be lined up one on top of the other. I don't want you tilting back. I don't want you tilting forward. Your hand can be under your head or wherever it needs to be for balance. And we're gonna start with just our regular raised leg. So up, down, up, and down. You can flex or point your foot. The preference is up to you. The flex or the fat, flat foot, excuse me, is gonna probably engage your glute a little bit more. So if you want that glute working, up. Oh, pretend like you're standing on the wall. Flat foot. And come to your highest point. Everyone's flexibility is different. I'm not super flexible, so my highest point is here. It's where I feel the resistance. That's where I'm gonna do a little squeeze and then lower. If you're really flexible, you might be able to kick your leg way back. The idea here isn't about the range of motion so much as it's about finding your point of resistance. So up and down, up and down, up and down. After those squats, your leg might be burning already. I know mine is, I got a little wobbles. So that's good. It means it's working. Up and down, up and down. Be more like this. Up and down, up and down. All right, moving on to our next one. You're gonna tap forward, up, and then down on top of that foot. So it's up, forward, up, down. Up, forward, up, down. Again, you can point. I like the point on this one. It kind of makes me feel like a ballerina. Doing my little exercises here even though I am not graceful. Up and forward is gonna engage a little bit different area of those glutes. We have a lot of gluteus muscles. And this side kind of motion, we don't get a lot in our daily life. We're usually moving forward and backwards, so the side motion is really good for us. So up, top, up and forward. Good. Up and down, up and down. Such a simple motion, but I'm feeling it. Okay, let's do a couple more. Up, down, forward, up. Down. All right, now I want you to uh, put that foot about six to 12 inches and we're gonna trace little circles. In control, foot goes back, down, around, and up. Back, down, around, and up. Don't let that knee bend. When your leg gets tired, it's gonna wanna bend. That's that leg muscle kinda giving up and saying, oh, I'm burnt out. But we wanna keep that leg nice and straight. 
a little circles backwards. A couple more. Let's switch direction. Forward. Forward circles. Good. Forward. Keep that leg straight. Good. Woo! Okay, let's do one more. Woo! All right, we got to even it out. Let's flip on over to the other side. All right, let's make sure we're on camera here. So we're starting with that regular leg lift, up and down, up and down. Now this leg might get tired or feel tired a little bit faster because whether you realize it or not, you are using it to stabilize when you're on the other side. Also a lot of us, um, I should say everyone, has asymmetry or sort of mismatching strengths in their body. So typically your right or your left is gonna be dominant in all of our muscles, whether it's your right or left hand, right or left shoulder, right or left hip. We all have those, which is why we're trying to even it out, do the same exercises on both sides. Good. Up and down, up and down. And you'll notice my range of motion on this it's not because I'm trying to raise it any less, it's because I'm just tighter on this side. So my high point is a little bit lower than it was on my opposite side. All normal. Good. Again, try not to rock forward or back with your hips. Try to keep that knee straight. Those are the things that are going to want to change when you get tired. Yes. Keep it up. Woo! Yeah. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Great. Very good. Keep it up. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. All right, let's go to our forward tap, up, back tap. Well, I should say back, right on top of that foot. Up, forward, back, down. Up, forward, up, down. Up, forward, up, down. Again, the flex or the point in your foot, your choice. Just keep moving. Yes, don't let that leg bend. Good. Woo, mine is tired. Don't let me fool you. Don't think that this is easy. This is hard. If you think you need to stop, do two more lifts and then stop. Take a quick break, but then jump right back into it. You don't need to be done, done. Just take a break when you need it. Up, forward, up, back. Up, forward, up, back. Let's do one more. All right, now we're tracing that circle. Let me scoot forward a little bit. So we're going backwards first. We go a little bit past that main line. We go a little bit forward as we're tracing our circle. Woo, those small movements take a lot of muscle control. I am shaking. Good. Two more. Two and three. Let's switch. Forward circle and go. Woo, let's do three more. One. Two, three, whoo, whoo, shake that out a little bit, right? You can stretch back in our booties. Now we're moving on to our upper body. We're gonna keep working on those triceps, that back of our muscle. So what we're gonna do is a narrow handed push up, okay? So your hands come just inside your shoulders. We want that nice straight flat back in our push up position. You're gonna lower down with your elbows in, and push up. So notice how my elbows stay tucked right against my body. I don't want to be able to see your elbows like that. That's really going to put a lot of pressure on your shoulders. So your elbows should be rubbing against your body when you go down and up. Lead with your chest. I'll show you from the side. So good push up position. My body is nice and straight and flat. My hips aren't down. My butt isn't up. I'm going to go down. My elbows are touching my side body. My chest and my hips are down. And then I push up. So I don't want to see anything like this, where your head's down 
and then swing these baby bends. You keep going. And I don't want to see this, right? Because that's not a push-up. So it's straight, keeping your body straight. Go down and up. If that's too intense, go on your knees, but it's still, your chest should be the thing leading the way. Don't, you know, do one of these and don't do one of these. So it's chest first, up. You keep going, I'm gonna go to the front. Ready? Keep pushing, keep pushing. Now these are really hard, my muscles are already fatigued. So when my form starts to fail, I'm gonna go to my knees. Let's do two more. One, two. All right, now we're gonna do a push-up where one hand is back in our regular push-up position, one hand is out front. So this back hand, your elbow's gonna stay in, front, your elbow's gonna go out. So up, and then we're gonna switch. Back, up. So the arm that's back, is doing that tricep motion. The arm that's forward is coming out. So you're engaging more of your chest, your bicep, your shoulder. Should be a lot easier with that front hand. And again, I'll go to the side, keep going. My form is always, chest comes first. Body stays tight, forward and back. Woo, and then switch, keep going. When your form starts to fail, go to your knees. You can do all of these on your knees. Woo! Let's do one more. Woo! Woo! That was quick, but that was hard. All right, I'm coming in to move the camera. Let's go. Last, last thing we're gonna do today is our cardio, okay? So find a little jump rope. Yes, this is it. Last thing. All right, we're gonna be doing kind of a high step forward high step back. So you need a little space forward and back. All right? So, ready? Go. We're going to go. One, two, three, four, back. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, back. Two, three, four. Woo! Back, two, three, four. We're going a little bit lateral. We're kicking our butts. Back. Two, three, four. Use your arms for balance. Back. modified run in place. If this is too intense for you, you can just stand in place and do a butt kick. We're again, we're going a little bit lateral, side to side. We're getting that butt kick and you're keeping moving at a steady rhythm so we get our heart rate up. Okay? Let's do it again. I'm going to go back and do our score. One, two, do burpees. So with a burpee, we go down, out, up, jump. And then you speed it up. If this is too hard, you go down, step, 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 up, down, step, step. But the idea is at the bottom, we want that good push-up position. I don't want to see you dropping down. Okay, keep going. Down, up, 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 one more for good measure. Whew. That is it. You did it. You made it. Thank you so much for joining me for 30 minutes of movement a day. I hope you had fun. I know I did, and I hope to see you next time on Kicking It With Kelly.